Have you ever wanted to learn how to do those romantic ringlets that all the celebrities are wearing in the magazines? Well, today I'm gonna to teach you how. Before we get started, these are the tools and products that you're gonna need. A clip to hold your hair back, a shine wax, a medium to hard hold hairspray, a wide tooth comb, and a one and a half inch barrel curling iron. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is clip off your hair into sections. First section you're gonna to wanna to do is the bottom two inches of your hair. So just take the rest of your hair up in a clip or a rubber band and get it out of the way. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take the hairspray and spray all the hair that we're gonna work on first, just to give it some texture so it'll stay. Now you're gonna take your first section about an inch wide. You're gonna take a little bit of shine wax, just enough to coat your fingertips, and you're gonna run it through the hair from the roots to the ends. And go ahead and grab the curling iron and your first section, starting at the root. Slowly pull down the curling iron and twist it, moving the hair through the iron, loosening up the grip, so you get all the way to the ends. Keep twisting it, loosening up the grip until you get the ends in the iron and just hold it there for about 10 seconds and then release it. Get the hairspray, spray that section and move on to the next section. Do the same thing one inch section, little bit of product between your fingers. Take the curling iron, starting at the base, pull it down, start to turn it, releasing the tension as you move down the strand of hair. Feeding it into the curling iron until you get to the very ends. By doing it this way, in a downward motion, you get that soft draping curl. Leave it on for 10 seconds. Go ahead and take it out. And then again, spray that section with hairspray so as it cools, it stays just how it is. So now you wanna take out your hair and get that second section. It's gonna be about one and a half inches wide. Pin the rest up out of your way. And let's take that first inch, just like we did the last time, put a little bit of shine product on it. Go ahead and start with that curling iron at the base, bending towards your face, releasing the tension as you go down the strand. Just feeding it in till you get to the very end. And if you have shorter hair and it only goes around a few times, that's fine. Just get it to where it goes and then stop to at the ends. And spray that section. Take the next section as you move towards the back, just bring it towards the front and start as close to the base as you can. So if your hair is shorter than your shoulder length, you're gonna to wanna to use a smaller curling iron, closer to a one inch, because you won't be able to wrap it around the curling iron too many times and you won't get a small enough curl. So now we're gonna start with that final section. I'm gonna break it up into two different sides. It's important to get a little bit more volume on this top section so you get lift. So I'm gonna take the comb and I'm gonna tease a little bit at the root just to create a little bit of volume. Put a little bit of shine product in it. Again, start at the base. And here's an example of what you do with shorter hair because this layer is shorter. Again, just go around as many times as you can. So just break this into one inch sections, just like you did on the last two layers. Putting a little shine product on it. 
start at the base. Now there's some shorter layers in my hair. If you have shorter layers, you're gonna reach those before you reach the end of the hair. Just let them stay in there and keep going until you get to the end. 10 seconds. Let it out and spray it. Spraying it is the key. So with these top pieces, these last ones, you're gonna wanna tease a little bit at the root with that comb, that's what it was there for. Take the comb and kind of just tease a little bit at the root just to give you some volume so the curls don't pull down. Take that shine product again all the way through the ends. Start as close to the base as you can to give you a little bit of lift. And these are shorter pieces, so this would be an example of what you would do with shorter hair. You get more of a rounded big curl with the shorter hair unless you use the smaller curling iron. You're gonna do the same thing in the back, but you're gonna go across your part. So you wanna take about an inch section just like before, tease at the root, take that back section, take the iron in front of the hair, and you're gonna roll back towards the back of your head versus to the side. Make sure you get all the way to those ends and roll it down in the scalp. Again, hold it there for 10 seconds. This gives you that nice volume in the back versus pulling to the side. Spray it with some hairspray. Now let's move to the front bang area. This part's kind of difficult for most people. Again, you wanna tease a little bit at the root so it doesn't fall on your face. It'll give you a little bit of lift. Little shine product, not too much around your face. Start about half inch away from the scalp. Again, feeding the hair all the way to the end. Hold it there for 10 seconds. It's okay if some of these don't curl because they're gonna move in with the, with the bend. Take it out, spray it just as it is. Now that you have the whole head curled, take a little bit of that shine wax, rub it through your palms, run your fingers through your hair. So you loosen up the curls and get that soft look. Kind of scrunch it a little bit to give it that messy look. And the last thing you want to do is spray it so it'll stay. Spray the roots. If you want to lift your bang up right here and spray at the root, it'll lift it off your face and keep it there. Spray the whole thing. The more you play with it, the bigger it gets. So it's up to you how big you want your style. And there you have your romantic ringlet.